Metro Bassin kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance watching these fish brands. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas and welcome to Retro Bassin. <laughs> Today on Retro Bassin, Santa Retro is giving away this genuine old school tackle box and everything that's inside. Stick around. I don't know if I look like Santa Claus or a hobo fisherman. Ooh. <laughs> How is everybody doing this fine holiday season? Um, Christmas is right around the corner here at Retro Bassin. And as you can tell, we've got our old school vintage lights out. By the way, you guys do not want to see my front yard. Um, and we have got a special little Christmas episode for all my bass and buds out there. <laughs> I think I need to lose the beard. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today on Retro Bassin, we are doing a special holiday giveaway. At the end of this video, I will describe how you enter to win this vintage tackle box and everything that's inside. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. So, coincidentally, or, or maybe not so much, but this Christmas episode of Retro Bassin happens to coincide with the two-year anniversary of this channel. Um, it has been uh, a pretty wild couple of years. Uh, we've had a blast making videos for you guys, and honestly, I've had a blast rekindling a part of my childhood that uh, I'd forgotten a little bit, uh, to be honest. So, what we're going to do today is a couple things. Uh, first off, I, I do want to uh, give a sincere thanks to all of the great subscribers and viewers out there. There are too many to name in the comment section, but it is uh, by far one of the greatest parts of this channel, in my opinion, are the great comments that we have down in the Retro Bassin comment section. I don't profess to be an expert at all things old school. I just happen to be a tackle junkie, and I love that era of bass fishing. But if you are watching a Retro Bassin video, uh, and you do scroll down to the comment section, uh, rest assured you're going to get way more information than you'll get in the videos alone. In addition to all the great subscribers and commenters at Retro Bassin, there are several fishing YouTube channels that, um, honestly, they always stop by here. They've always got something great to say. And now, um, at our tier anniversary, I do want to give thanks and, and give a couple shout outs to some channels that I think you guys should check out. Uh, always, I see him on Instagram and comments every single video is Big John's Life. He's a local Texas guy who does a ton of cool stuff in a kayak. And he and I have not fished together yet, but hopefully next time I'm out in East Texas, we will. Got a couple of Florida guys I have to give shout outs to. One of them is Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life, and the other is Small Water Charters. Um, both channels, those guys pull in some donkeys from the swamps of Florida. And next time I'm out that way, I definitely plan to catch up with both of them. Punch Fishing, uh, follow him on Instagram and also YouTube as well. Uh, another great dude who puts out a ton of really good rod and reel reviews. Fish ATX, a channel that you all should definitely check out. Um, he has actually been a huge help to me in finding some spots. As you guys know, I'm not a Texas local. Um, but he has put me on the fish more than once. So go check out Fish ATX. And last but not least, there's a brand new channel. One of my favorite guys to follow on Instagram is a guy by the name of Big Minnow Mike. You talk about old school tackle junkie. I'm pretty sure that he and I have gotten into some eBay wars over the years. Um, but he just started a YouTube channel. So I think at last count, he's got like 11 subscribers. He just started this channel. So I will drop a link to him down below. Definitely head over and light him up. Thank you guys, fellow YouTube bass fishermen, for all the support and love. Um, I hope to fish with all of you real soon. But now, let's talk about this, this tackle box. So 
I was trying to think of a, a unique and very retro way to give back um, to the retro bass and bass and bud family. And I can think of no better way than to fill up an old school tackle box with some vintage and discontinued lures and send it to the winner. Okay, so <laughs> let us dive in to this old school tackle box chock full of some retro goodies. So first things first, the box itself it is an old pal wood stream and the model number is 1050. So check it out. Let's see what's inside. When I loaded this tackle box up, I made it a mix of some old school lures that we have featured on Retro Bassin and some lures that I hope to feature in the near future. So first things first, we'll start off at the top. So I've got a couple of goodies that I've not yet uh, featured. So this is a Tom Mann's Fish World Pogo Shad, and that looks like a rainbow trout pattern to me. Back on the tidal Potomac, this was one of my favorite baits to fish over the big grass flats. Um, I'm gonna throw in this one, which I think is the half ounce bottle, and this little dude. This is the quarter ounce. I don't know if you guys have ever fished a Tom Man Pogo Shad before, but the secret to this bait is that tail. It basically fishes a lot like a rattle trap, but because of this tail, it kicks from side to side in a pretty major way. I've also got this. This is an old school rebel crankbait. I don't know the name of this, if it's a humpback or not, but that's an oldie, but a goodie. Here is one from Burke. Uh, this is a Burke bait. I don't know if this is a Doug Hannon special or not, but it looks like it's a little crankbait. And it is a soft body bait. This thing is awesome and I've not fished with this one yet. Also gonna throw in this, a little Pose RC crankbait. And here's another top water bait. This is a pose, little wooden chugger bait, and this is called the Blurpy. I've not fished with this bait, but I've got a few of these, and I'm giving one away. Here's another rattling bait that I love. This is the Cordell Neon Spot, and check out the color on that. Oh, this is one of the awesomest looking baits uh, in the package, out of the package. Super old school and whoo, that thing's funky. Oh, okay, last one on the first row. I probably should have saved this one. <sighs> but this is a pre Rapala, you can see by the bottom there, wiggle wart. One of the most sought after crankbaits around. So this is before um, Rapala bought Storm when the baits had that funky lip that made them hunt super radically. And honestly, that's probably not a terrible color either. That's not like what they would call a, uh, a repaint. Is that in focus? That's, there we go. Check that out. And there's that lip, look at that thing. Ah. Okay, coming across the bottom here. <laughs> this is a funky spoon. This is a, another Tom Man creation. He partnered up with uh, Flying Lure and developed a spoon. And the way this thing works is it's supposed to glide under uh, the water. I've got a dock episode planned with this thing. I've not executed yet, but y'all are going to get one of these. The Tom Man Fish World Flying Lure Spoon. I know, super random. Ooh. So everyone knows about the head and mouse. Well, here's the Zara mouse. This is a topwater bait in the shape of a mouse. It's got a little little mouse tail there, a single hook. And honestly, I, <laughs> I don't know how that thing would ever hook a bass, um, but maybe it will. So let me know. Um, <laughs> that'll be in there. Uh, another pose crankbait. This is a little uh, super cedar in sort of a black metal flake color. Here are a couple uh, more Tom Man lures. Here is a crankbait. This is an old man's crankbait. 
and a minnow bait as well. So I don't know if these are called the bullfin. I think they might be. And last uh, hard lure up here is this one. This is an old bait, wooden bait with a metal lip from Fluger called the Pal O Mine. That, my friends, is an old school bait. What else do we have here? A uh, classic bomber model 7A crankbait. Bill Norman DT22 coming at you. I did one of my first episodes was on the Pico Perch, an old school bait that used to be built out in Corpus Christi, Texas. Pico is now back in action. They are re-releasing all their old baits and this is one of them. So this is a reissue version of the old Pico Perch. So if you've watched my first ever episode of Retro Bassin, I talk about the first bass I ever caught. It was in a farm pond by the name of Buckskin Lake and it was on this bait, the classic Strike King Grass Frog. This was the junior, but hey. Speaking of Strike King, you're gonna get this, uh, an old school spinner bait from Strike King. That skirt has seen better days, but you could replace it or just leave it in the pack. I'm obviously a bit of a geek for Mr. Tom Man. I'm gonna get this, a set of big old jelly worms. Recent episode you saw on the uh, Virgil Ward Bass Buster line. So I'm going to throw in a couple things here from Bass Buster. We've got this, the Heavy Head Beetle Spin. Just a straight up beetle. And this other one from Bass Buster that I've not featured yet, but I plan to. The Bass Buster Chum and Worm. <laughs> it says it tastes alive. Oh, and I'm also going to throw in this, a new school version of the Beetle Spin. I love that bait. I'm totally going to start fishing with this more often after that episode. I have not featured this bait yet, but I definitely want to next summer during worming season. And this is a nice 8-inch Rebel Ringworm. Back in worms used to come like on a card, which is awesome. Oh, this is uh, from an old episode. So I caught probably my nicest bass of 2020 on this bait, the Butch Harris Worm. It's a three pack of eight inch green worms. And by the way, I just love the packaging on this thing. Look at that. <laughs> oh, here's another one from another episode. Uh, this was one of the, I think we did one of our pond episodes. I caught a nice little fish on this, the Bud and Marv Seeker Worm. So there you go. G gonna get a new pack of Bud and Marv's Seeker Worms. It's actually a nice little kind of funky colored, I guess that's a six inch worm. Um, okay, uh, last one. I think one of the um, favorite episodes that I personally filmed was the Dr. Lauren Hill Tribute color selector episode. So you're going to get this, a pack of Rebel Rednecks in one of the color selected colors. So there you go. And there's Dr. Lauren Hill on the back doing his bass color experiments. <laughs> so everybody, um, thank you all for, for tuning in um, two years in to the retro bassin journey. Hopefully you all stick with us. Um, as we get into 2021, we've got a ton of big plans out there. Um, as always, so many lures, so little time. So, again, to enter, to win this box and everything inside, all you have to do is live in the continental U.S. Drop a comment down below and be sure to follow me both on YouTube and Instagram. From there, in one week's time after posting this video, I will pick a winner at random. And I will list that winner as a pinned comment in this video. So best of luck. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. So until next time, keep those bells a-jingling. And definitely, fish it old school.
Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bad.